long time. Not really, actually. <laughs> I've uh, I've posted a lot of videos. They're not necessarily journaly, crafty related videos, but I have been posting a lot of videos. And my method and motto is whatever motivates you, do it, and you'll eventually get back to what you were doing before. So anyway, I wanted to come on today and film something. I had something really cool happen, and I never even said anything about it. And I was a big blob and didn't even open my package. Well, let me back up. This. Okay, so I was asked to be a part of a tag swap. Oh, I guess I should cover that up. Let's start over. Oh, you know what? I can blur it. <laughs> I forgot I have an awesome editing software now. So I was like, yes, I'd love to do that. I'd love to be a part of it. So I was supposed to make a few tags and there was a couple other artists that were a part of the swap with me and we made tags. And I think, I can't remember when it was supposed to actually happen, but it kind of got delayed a little bit. And I don't know, I just forgot about it because of the holidays and yada yada. We actually, our tags were featured in Brush Magazine. And so I'm going to put the link, oh my, my dog's in here. I'm going to put the link below to the Brush Magazine subscription. So I'm actually published. <laughs> I'm so excited. Along with these other artists, Shar Dirawin is the one who organized this whole thing. And she is just a beautiful soul. She got it all together. She did the hard work of the publishing uh, application and all that stuff. So thank you so, so much, Shar. You're amazeballs. I think this is Shar's right here. This cute butterfly. I love that so much. So I wanted to unbox, unbox <laughs> the tags for y'all and show you what I made and what my friends made. I'm so excited. Now again, I was a boob and I did not open this uh, partly because I didn't realize it was going to my PO box and partly... <gasps> Ooh, I got another insert. Oh my gosh. Uh, partly because I got crazy doing my website, but oh my goodness. Okay, Char does the cutest things with packaging and stuff. Okay, so this is super festive. I'll probably wait till next year, but okay. Okay, there's that. <gasps> See, this is a watercolor insert. And I love that it's got these like tapered. Okay, this is way too bright. What is going on? My battery ran out. Okay, this is the beautiful package that she gave me. And it's got this gorgeous tag and twine. And she's just so wonderful. Oh, I shouldn't have even done that because I could, you know what? I mean, I'll just do it later. So excited. These are the tags. I'm gonna have to use this paper for something super cool. This is like amazing paper. Seriously, I feel like Christmas, Christmas ain't over yet. <laughs> and the brown home. Oh my goodness. All this wonderful stuff. Okay, let's see here. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, shut this is lovely. I love that looks like me with a bun. I feel like that looks like me. <laughs> Do y'all think that looks like me? I think that looks like me. Shar, did you mean to make that look like me? Because I think it looks like me. And it says spread the love. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to get some really cool like close up shots for my intro. Oh my gosh. What? This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Mistel. These are gorgeous. Look at this. How beautiful is that? I just love that too. I was not very familiar with Mistel until um, this tag swap. So I'm so thankful that I got to know her and her work. I'm going to list where you can find these artists in my description. This one's mine. This was I, what I did. I did like an abstract floral head bouffant thing and a sketchy face. And then I sewed little sentiments. I like slow to see. That's one of my favorite things, slow to see. And I gave these, um, I actually scanned all of my tags and they're printable on Patreon. Just FYI, if you like this look, whatever. Ooh. This is cool. Oh, it says Ray's. Ray's tag is like fabric. Keep letting your talent shine for all to see. Oh, and she personalized it. 
How sweet. I will cherish. I'm, I don't know how I'm going to display all of these. I might maybe hang them by little clips somewhere in my room. You know what I mean? Like you can get these little clips, Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz is the bomb. Love you, Tim. And see how they have a little thing right there? You could simply nail a hole, nail, nail a hole. <laughs> nail it, nail a nail, hammer a nail in the wall and just hang it. You know what I mean? And then just have like one, two, three, four, five. That's what I think I'm going to do because I just love these so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's that. So there's four and oh, cool. This one's like, look at this cool map. Ooh, what is this a map of? New Hampshire. I'm going to do something fun with this. That is super duper cool. And this is like all like 3D and such. Kelly, Kelly Mae Krenz. What a cool thing. And she like sewed this. Love more. Yes, we all could love more, couldn't we? That is amazing. This is super fun. Oh my gosh. I love that. I love how like, that's going to be fun hanging. See, that's another reason why these are good just to hang on the wall because this one's like 3D. And if I can get it in a spot, I can just hang it. Yes. Okay. So I've got, how many of us did this? I think six of us did this. So one, two, three three, four, five. I feel like I did not do enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is this Robin's? Yes, it is Robin's. Robin. What did you do? Okay, so this is her package. I don't want to mess it up. But gosh, look how pretty that is. I don't want to mess it up. Holy mackerel. I'm just really excited. It's a big deal. I've never had any of my anything. It's all Char's fault. Like Char's awesome. Like Char's the one who did this. And when I say Char's fault, I mean like she's amazing. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to cut it. I don't want to, but I have to. But anyway, she's the one who did all the hard work. I'm gonna try to attempt to do some more things of mine. Um, she knows the process and I'm gonna try to learn the process because I think it's fun to share. And there's people who actually do read magazines still, you know, and get inspiration. This is so sticking cool. Robin's got the coolest, bright, fun style. Okay, this is her tag, which is like interactive as well. Oh my gosh. This is super cool. This is so pretty. I'm wondering if you like write little things. Oh, look, it's like a journal. Oh, it's like a little journal thing and you can keep it in there. Or this, no, yeah, this way. That's super cool. Or I guess you could even do anything in this. This is amazing. I love this. It's almost like, what is this? Is this? I want to know what paper this is. That is amazing. This almost looks like it's her own art on a piece of cardstock. But my word, that's cute. And there's a little, oh my goodness. There is a little pin. I'm all about pins. I have this cool backpack that I got for traveling. And I'm like trying to load it up with fun, crazy, interesting pins. And so like weird pins and cool pins. So I'm going to put that on my backpack. Can y'all even see that? Hold on. Look how cute that is. Robin, your pen's going on my backpack, okay? Oh my gosh, let's look at them all together. So this is Robin, Marie's, Kelly's, Ray's, and Char's, and Mistel's. Can I get them all in there? I don't even know, my desk is such a mess. And I have so many goodies, extra goodies to play with. And then mine. And these are our things, our tags. Oh my goodness, how wonderful, how wonderful. Well, Char, you're way over here. They're all so unique and different and I love that about them. I just want y'all to take away from this that we all have our unique individual creative ways. And it's great to get inspiration from people, but don't 
get into the trap of competition and comparison. That's that's just going to make you miserable and it won't allow you to celebrate what you have to bring to the table and the art community. It won't your art will suffer for it if you do that. And one of the things that I've been doing that was recommended to me by a friend is that I don't go to bed with my phone anymore. I don't scroll through anymore. I put my phone way far away and before bed I just kind of do my own thing and I just go to bed I don't look at people's art right before bed and I get the coolest dreams about new ideas and stuff so anyway that is something I'm doing and I will never go to bed or wake up with my phone again I actually got legit double bell alarm clocks just so I didn't have to have my phone by my bed it has been wonderful I feel like a human being again I talk about it on patreon a little bit more but anyway oh my word I hope y'all enjoyed this unbagging of unpackaging, I guess, not really unboxing of the tags that we all did. Again, I'm going to have the link below for the magazine that we were published in. I can't wait to uh, get my copy. I have a, that on my things. Hello, airplane. Oh my goodness. On my things to do. And also the links to these beautiful artists who shared their love and their art and their talent with me and everyone else. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much. I do have um, my testimony, my husband and I's testimony coming up that was super requested. I have Doug Thoughts with Doug. He's a friend of mine and he's hilarious and I like to laugh. So we're doing Doug Thoughts with Doug where he analyzes my art. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. And then I have, I think I have like a journal with me or something. What else do I have? I have a giveaway. I have a lot planned and I'm getting organized for the year. I have a plan your peace class coming on my website. I'm super excited. Lots of exciting things happening in 2018. Love y'all so, so much. And I will see y'all later. Bye. What I feel it's so important. It's like, okay, yeah, you have all these like phrases down. That's great. But I really feel like in order for things to stick, repetition, 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 and just dig deeper into it and then really revisit it. So for these things to stick, what I have decided I'm going to do 